Oladipo lines up a three way off. Vincent, extra pass, Oladipo, good look for three, way off again. One of the ugliest conference finals games that I've ever seen was so bad that not just me but other breakdown YouTubers as well are left completely speechless. Okay, let me at least try to explain what happened. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Just look at these misses. Butler gets the screen and on the pump fake, White falls down so now Jimmy has all the time in the world for a completely uncontested shot and he airballs it. Again, on the screen, not only is Williams in drop coverage but not even contesting the shot that again gets nothing but air. Look at the space that Lowry has on this shot right here, raises up and yet another air ball. And on the kick out, Gabe Vincent is full of confidence as he raises up from downtown and almost breaks the backboard. This has to be the worst compilation of misses by a team that I've ever seen in one game. And check this out, in a crucial game 5 at home, they went 32% from the field and 7 for 45, that's 15.5% from 3. This is astonishingly bad. And as you can see, for most of the shots, the Celtics are in drop coverage so they don't believe that Miami can beat them with their shot. A lot of these were open looks. Just look at where Horford is on this switch against Butler. He's forcing him to shoot these shots, and you can see why. Jimmy shot 4 for 18 from the field so I guess you can say that this was a successful game plan by the Celtics coaching staff. And speaking of that, Conscious Basketball, the sponsor of this video, is like having an entire NBA coaching staff on the floor and they're all texting stats and info to you. Conscious Basketball is a website that tracks all of those things that don't show up in the box score and quantifies that with a score for each player so that it's very easy for us to know at a glance whether a player is good at something or not. For example, throughout the playoffs, Jalen Brunson has been top 3 when it comes to driving. Obviously, he likes to attack and he's quick, but top Top 3 is elite. Also, Draymond Green has been the best when it comes to screening. And I already know what you're gonna say in the comments, but whatever. Conscious Basketball has a bunch of analysts in the film room watching every game possession by possession in slow motion and rewinding it to see exactly what every player is doing. So you don't have to. They even have officiating ratings, so check with them before blaming the loss of your team on the refs. And they'll be doing a mock draft based on their tracking from the NCAA, so if you want to get more in-depth with the NBA, check them out in the description. Moving on, if the Celtics defense was going under the screens for some, they definitely were hounding guys like Duncan Robinson. Look at White picking up the shooter from way out here and chasing him, breathing in his neck to ultimately end with a block. Great effort by Derek. Same thing with Brown on this possession. He is close and goes up to contest the shot. As we slow it down, you can see that everything is clean here despite Robinson flailing. No foul was the right call and another miss. Also, big shout out to Robert Williams for his defensive presence. On this play, first he traps Vincent in the corner, then gets back out to Martin and even though he bites on the fake, check out the hustle to get back and block this dunk attempt. Then watch him recover from under the basket helping on the drive all the way out to the 3 point line for this phenomenal rejection on Gabe Vincent and since we got a second angle on this I gotta show it to you since it looks even better in slow mo. And he had a similar one getting out to Tucker in the second half. This is incredible and you clearly see the impact that he has on the defensive end. And check out the mind boggling numbers. In the past two games, Butler, Lowry and Strews have shot a combined 8 for 60 from the field. Let me repeat that, the three starters are shooting 13.3% on 60 shots and there's no way that they can get to the finals with that kind of efficiency. There have been some questions about injuries from reporters and I assume that these are the ones that cover the heat specifically and are around the team all the time so there could be some truth to that. But both Butler and Spolstra as well were quick to shut down those rumors and accepted the responsibility for the loss. Jimmy when we asked you about this after last game I know you said no, it had nothing to do with it but I am curious, when when did you start feeling the irritation in your knee that the team brought up in the middle of game 3? Uh, man, honestly, it, it doesn't matter. If I'm out there, I gotta, I gotta do better. I gotta find a way to help us win, and I haven't been doing that. Um, I'm fine. My knee is okay. 
I just I just got to do better. It's, it's no excuse. Whether it's the Celtics defense or just missing shots or even injuries, Miami has a tough task of winning on the road to save their season. And to do that, they'll have to play much, much better than this. Hopefully we'll have a chance to watch much more interesting games at the end of this round and for the finals of course, cause this was unbearable. That's it for now, subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out. Wow.